Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to go over two Excel functions, VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. Okay, so I've got a worksheet already set up, and I'm going to be using VLOOKUP, which is probably the more common one, right up here in the top left corner. So I've got uh, about 10 employees, and they've sold some items over the month or the term or the quarter, whatever. I want to allocate the appropriate bonus level for each employee based on their items sold. So the concept behind the VLOOKUP is we're going to have a table and we will be looking up some piece of information on the table to get the appropriate result. Now if we do this properly, we only have to write the VLOOKUP function once for one employee and then autofill it down. So I'm going to start off with equals VLOOKUP and it's going to prompt me with the parameters, the arguments I need to put in. So first is my lookup value, and that's going to be the item sold for the particular employee. Because if an employee wants to know what's my bonus going to be, first you have to find out, well, how many items were sold. That's my lookup value, comma. The table array is going to be the values, the table where I'm going to get my answer. Notice I'm not selecting my header row. That's unimportant to the actual data uh, table array. So there's my table array. Now for this one, because I'm going to be using the same formula for multiple cells, I want to make it absolute. So I'm pressing F4 on my keyboard to convert this table array into absolute references. Comma. The column index number is the column out of this two column table, which is going to contain my answer. In this case, my answer is going to be two. And I'm actually good right there. I could stop. There is this last fourth optional argument, um, approximate match or exact match. With this one, it's going to be an approximate match. But even if I left this one out, that would be no problem at all. Um, because obviously, I'm not hoping that a person sold exactly 350 units. They may have sold 352 or 400. So technically, it's going to be an approximate match. But no worries there. That'll be the default. So I can just finish this argument press enter. And of course, for my first employee, they didn't even get to 200 units sold, so no bonus for them. If I autofill this down, we can see that we are starting to get some appropriate numbers. For an employee that sold 540 units, they get the $1,000 bonus, but they don't quite get to the 650 and the $1,200 bonus. And so there is a little bit of V lookup. V lookup, the value, the table array, and then the column that's going to have your answer. Now, pretty similar, I'm going to use HLOOKUP down here. And in, in this one, I've got a series of months. And these are, by the way, these are just dates, starting with this one. And then I've got the month values down here. Ultimately, you could probably hide this row. But I want to find out what is the ending inventory for the particular month. And I'm going to set that up with an HLOOKUP. So over here in the top right, I've got myself, I can tell what the current date is. And I'm going to create an H lookup. It's going to have the exact same arguments as V lookup. But with H lookup, I'm going with a horizontally oriented table versus my vertically oriented table. Vertical, V lookup, horizontal, H lookup. So in this case, my lookup value is going to be the month, the current month, um, because I need to find the month to look at the appropriate ending value amount. So my lookup value is going to be the month of my current date cell, comma. The table array is going to be the key values of this data here. Notice I'm not selecting the months up here at the top. I'm starting with my month values. And of course, I am including the ultimate row where I need to get my answer from. Technically, this one doesn't need to be absolute because I'm only using this formula in this one cell. So I don't need to make that absolute. And now my row index number, well, I've got the first row, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So my answer is going to be in the fifth row, comma. Now with this one, technically I could do either true or false because there's not going to be anything in between these. But just as an example, I'll put in false as my 
as my range lookup because it is going to be an exact match in this case. I'm going to press enter and I can tell that since it's January 23rd, it goes to January and results and returns the 349 ending inventory. Just as an experiment so we could see this, I could change the date to 315. There we go, 315, 19. And now the answer, the ending inventory is 12. It's getting that from March. And there we go, there's my 312. And just one more experiment, I'll just change it over to 415, the answer is 464. Okay, so that is HLOOKUP. You put in the value that you wanna look up, the table array in question, the row number now, of the table array that has your answer. And then if you need to, either an approximate match or false, which is an exact match. Take care.